Hello guys, Jignesh Jain here. This video is also for our Redmi Note 7 Pro. But yeah, this particular build can be used on any GSI enabled phones. So if you have a phone which supports treble ROMs and GSIs, it can be used on that also. So let me take you to the details what it is actually. As you can see, this UI looks very very good. So you can say that this is the best looking UI I, you must have ever seen. This is not one UI. To be straightforward, this is not MIUI. And yeah, this is not the AOSOP version. So basically, this is the combination of all three. So whatever best you can get from every of these three UI, this is the best, best combination of everything. So as you can see, the notification shade and all and if you combine this this particular app with this you can have an one UI type user interface on your phone so yes you can say this is a type of one UI interface but it's not in one UI so as you can see in about info this is descendant ROM with version number X and this is running as a GSI, GSI image on my phone. This is Redmi Note 7 Pro uh, to be precise. And I am running a GSI AB ROM on this particular phone. So as you can see, it looks like it's I am using one UI with, with the details. So let me show you all the features it have right now. So as you can see, it has, it has Xiaomi features also enable double tap to wake and all. It also has some those features if you want to and other miscellaneous features which you may find in other PHH enable ROM so that's a basic thing you will be getting if you have PHH trouble settings other than that network internet and everything you must notice one thing that it is not uh, it is not starting up from the top corner of your phone it has some it has some detail uh, it has left some of the space so that you can easily reach your thumb for it so you can say it's some type of thumb UI and to be exact let me start the thumb UI for you so as you can see this is thumb UI now as soon as I click it see it has gone to the normal UI and as soon as I press thumb UI it will make you it will make your phone easier to reach everywhere with your thumb itself see so that is enable if you want to you can disable this thing but uh, if you are using this ROM particularly you will be using this for this feature itself so let's move forward in network and internet everything is working correctly I have no issues even VLT was working you can have app and notification details here so it has specific some features as such as descendant health manager and other some specific features relating to this particular ROM itself so that's good and as you can see the battery the battery menu is a different menu which you will be getting it from ASOP or Havoc OS or anything else so that's a good this is a good layout good user interface you can say and display you will be having all the features that you will be getting in ASOP pixel experience or any other custom ROM you can also enable the dark theme and you can disable that too you are having wallpapers rotation font size and one thing I have noticed that you have many of the fonts to be choose from as you can see it's detailed here you also have an accent colors if you want to you can select that as you can see the colors has been changed I'll keep it to the device default right now you can also change the icon size or uh, sorry icon shapes if you want to other than that it also has that Android 10 pixel features wherein you can use the custom detail you can use or customize the styles and wallpapers so if you want to use that you can do that too other than the normal features so that's what display was one thing it's missing is an ambient display yeah ambient display is missing but you'll be getting a notification and you'll be getting a not, uh, ambient display when some notification has arrived but always on ambient display is missing or say OOD is missing right now so that's the biggest width biggest uh, uh, thing that uh, piss me off in this particular ROM otherwise if you don't want to use ambient display or you can you are okay with the other apps available 
then you can go ahead with this rom sound and everything is working great no issues whatever so that's good storage as you can see it easily reads memory card no issues with that too we have a privacy manager as uh, android 10 has and so nothing great here everything is usual you also have lock screen wherein you can select the fingerprint and all i haven't set up the fingerprint but uh, i was able to recognize i was able to uh, make it feel that the fingerprint is recognized so i haven't set the lock screen but fingerprint is working no issues with that and i haven't seen the face unlock uh, in this particular menu i don't know if it uh, if it has or not but i'm not sure about that you can already add an account and all that's a normal thing so accessibility has some more features if you want to see here it is you can enable the live caption and all other than that you have an high contrast text and everything and above all it also has the digital wellbeing digital wellbeing and parental controls and all so yeah guys that's it if you want a very great rom with a great customization or say a fluent and decent customization go for this descendant rom yeah this is a descendant gsi rom i'll be linking the details below so if you want to go go and check this particular rom you can use it this is the best available rom best looking available rom if i if i goes to say other than one ui this is the best rom you can use for your phone so go ahead flash this and this is bugless right now if you don't uh, want an ambient display you can easily go with this it has vlt functions it has calling it has wifi everything is working great even camera is working great no issues with the cameras also however you will not be getting google cam default by here you will have to add the g cam and g cam is working great on this rom so no issues this with that too so go ahead and flash this rom take care